In our practice, we use three-dimensional X-ray diagnostics, CBCT, prior to every implantation and NICO FDOJ operation. We utilize Morita's cone beam scan technology, which allows us to examine the jawbone for foreign bodies or osteoluses down to the smallest detail and to have a comprehensive understanding of all anatom anatomical structures in advance of implantation. This technique is particularly useful in the field of immediate implantation with ceramic implants. In some cases, inflammation cysts are at the, the apex of root-treated teeth can already be seen on a conventional panoramic x-ray. However, they can only be clearly diagnosed with a three-dimensional x-ray image. In general, a cone beam scan should always be available for interference field diagnosis or planned implantations. Particularly, an FDOJ cannot be diagnosed clearly without a cone beam scan. A CBCT is absolutely necessary to accurately determine the height, length and width of the affected area and to prepare for the operation, significantly reducing the risk of damage in surrounding sensitive tissues and nerves. Since root-treated teeth should be directly replaced by a ceramic implant if po whenever possible, a cone beam scan should also be used in this situation to maximize patient safety. Carbital. Can inflammation in the jawbone be diagnosed without radiation? Yes! We are now using Cavital ultrasound before a planned FDOJ or NICO operation, cavitation operation, to ensure extra safety for the planned treatment, in addition to the cone beam scan. It's particularly useful for the diagnosis of potential cavitation recurrences or to check the bone around healed ceramic implants. This device should be an essential component of any biological dentist practice, in my honest opinion. Cheers, Dr. Dominic.